Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of Spin Tires Mud Runner on the Map Deluge. Now in this episode we're actually not going to be skipping night because I don't want to use any fuel for that. Wow that was a really, really high voice crack. I'm not even going to deny that one. It's just weird sometimes like, I think it's because it's getting cold all of a sudden like where I live it's starting to get cold and it's the first time all year that it's gotten cold and I'm just I don't know my I'm adjusting to it and sometimes sometimes like I don't know sometimes I do weird things when I'm adjusting to the cold it's weird but uh regardless that's the area we tried to use to cross and it didn't work so I'm thinking about going kind of through here honestly and then around to this and then kind of following this out to over here. And then across the other side. Really all I'm trying to do right now is find a safe path for logging trucks. And if I can do that, then that is, then we have accomplished our goal. But yes, like I said before though, we're not skipping night. Due to the fact that I don't want to use the fuel for that. I'd rather use the fuel to just drive. Let me see, where are we headed? Uh, we are going to want to go just keep going straight. Let's go, come on. Yo, that's nuts, seeing the water that high up from in the, like, from in the cab. Whoo! That's a little iffy, because you don't really even see the dangerous water level arrow either. You just see, you just see the, the, like, the words come up that just say dangerous water level. You know... Actually, I'm going to do this. I know it's kind of the opposite direction from where we want to go, but we'll still pull to it. Up, release. Go, 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 go. There we go. It, oh my god. Okay. Come on, find our way down the line. Let's go. It's just weird out here, man, because you never know when you're going to just dive headfirst into the water and be done. Actually, it looks like it's getting a little bit shallower here, which is really good for us. Really, really, really good for us and good for our truck. They really do make you take the long way, though. I mean, that that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it is that, like, they're like, yeah, sorry, but you're going to take the long way, bro. Like, that's the only way... You're getting through here. Try and speed things up a bit with that winch. Oh, damn. That's getting a little close. Little close. Just a little. Little close. Alright, so this is kind of the tip of this little island. Or more like just sandbar. Now I wonder if we can cut across to that other one. Then cut across again. And then finally make it to, uh, make it back to the road. This is gonna get really crazy really quick. I don't know if we should brave these currents or not. I really don't want the truck to get washed away. But no, 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 it can do it. Dude, hell yeah. Dude, alright, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's moving. That's, like, actually properly moving, too. No, like, that's... Wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed and I approve. Hell yes. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna want to get up and over these logs real quick. And, eh, let's see. Alright, where's my road? Come on, where's my road? Where's my road? Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm going to want to follow uh, these islands, I think, just a little further north. And then cut across because there's more spots where I can, you know, where I have either trees to winch to or fallen trees to winch to. And it's just, uh, like, another level of, of, basically, of insurance for our truck. It's, like, it's, it's much better that way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There she goes. Come on, where are we going? Where are we going? Well, that's not bad at all. That went super smoothly. 
Where are we looking? Oh, dude. Hell yeah, we just gotta turn right. Oh my god, the road is literally right there. But I have a feeling that if we go that way, it'll be the completely wrong line and the completely wrong approach. The crazy part is, we're gonna have to do this in a loaded log truck. And that is gonna be... That is gonna be sketchy as hell, to say the least. Let's see if we can kind of get just a little further along. Little further. We've got some fallen trees we can we can hook up to in a second. Little close to the dangerous water level, but nothing too bad just yet. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. Oh, you've got this. You've got this. Can you pull yourself out? Oh, 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 that, that was deep for a second. I'm going to winch to that tree. I'm going to aim for that tree and I'm going to winch to it. That's exactly what's going to save this truck from the water. It's such a slow go, but it'll make it. Well, or that tree, the fallen tree. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And release and go. Let's do this. All right, we made it. Perfect. So now we've got, let's see, got the garage up there unlocked and we've got a route sort of mapped out on where we can, where we can drive a truck. So now all we got to do, all we got to do is grab this uh, six, C65-111 and turn it into a log hauler. Really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teleport it to the garage and run it from there. Because I think, honestly, like that's going to probably be our best bet. So that truck is going to stay there. The C65-111 is going to, let's see, recover in garage. Yep, I am 100% certain that's what I want to do. And let's see... Spare wheel, we'll leave that. Oh, garage parts, I see. We'll get rid of that, and then... Log carrier, log carriage. Alright, we'll do the log carriage, and then we will do the short log trailer. That'll give us six points, so this will be our first load. Now, where is the... Uh, let's see, the log station is over here, and we already know how to get to that. I mean, that's, that's not a tricky thing to get to. That, honestly, like, what I did was just drove through the field. I mean, driving through the field seems to be a much better approach than taking the road. I mean, I did it in the other truck, and it went just fine. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I mean, I'm heading to the fuel station, but at the same time, this truck is full, so it doesn't need it one bit. Then I guess I could fill these four liters... Which, it went away the second I pulled out of the out of the station anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Make a quick right, and we should be coming out into the field pretty soon. Yeah, okay, perfect. Let me make sure we're aimed the right way, which we pretty much are. Hopefully this thing will go up a couple gears. I'm like, man, if it'll go up a couple gears, it's... It, and, and, and stay there, that's where we, uh, that's kind of where we need to be. Oh, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Power it up, power it up. Should say power it up the hill. Works much better that way. But at the end of the day, I mean, there's really not any hills out here. It's just, it's just uneven terrain. It's just uneven, like kind of mounds of dirt. I want to check the map, but at the same time, I don't because, yeah, whatever. Screw it. I'll check it. Because I wasn't sure if the best route was going to be, like, over here by the lookout point uh, or not, but it seems like that's just going to be the best place to go. So, we'll run it through there. Keep that power on. Just a little bit further now, bro. Thinking there's... Okay, there's like... 
that kind of, I don't know, run-down garage trailer area from earlier. That's where the, okay, that's where the 8x8 is. And he's got, dude, he's got, like, the best rescue setup in, like, in the business. Like, if you need to be rescued, like, he'll, he will tow you out and refuel you immediately. Like, in one swift motion. I keep getting, like, paranoid that I'm not going the right way, though. It's weird. Like, no, I'm going the right way, but still. I don't know. It's like, it slightly bothers me, almost. It's like, am I going the right way? Am I going the right way, though? You know? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Power through, power through. <laughs> power through and maybe shift up a gear. Come on. It's spinning a bit, but I'll get some grip on these rocks and kind of just ride it up the hill. There she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Like, damn, dude. That thing did well. Check this. Okay, yeah, perfect. We're right on the route we need to be on. Ex actually, exactly on the route we need to be we need to be on. And thankfully, the sun is coming out. I oh my god. I, Night was not something I wanted to deal with, especially with hauling lumber on a map like this. Woo! That is not the that that's not the name of the game for me. Where are we looking? Do we follow the road? Yeah, we follow the road. And if we follow the road, it should lead us at least somewhat in the general direction of the of like the lumber station. I feel like the second load, since it's just gonna be a carriage and not a carriage and a trailer. I feel like the second load is going to be so freaking easy compared to this one. We'll go keep going through just a little bit more. And I bet you there's going to be a turnoff for it really soon here. Where are we looking? Okay, yeah, just go, literally just go freaking go straight. And you'll come right up on it. If she would get grip, which, I mean, she kind of does. Yeah, there she goes. I mean, loaded down with lumber, it's going to be a slightly different story, but, I mean, because you got weight to deal with. But it's still not going to be any anywhere near as big of a deal as it would be in, like, one of the, one of the less powerful trucks. Yeah, I have it. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh god. But yeah, I haven't seen this this side of the map at all yet, so... Um, I mean, it's just a little corner of the map. It's not really, like, a whole side. But oh my god! This is one of the most flooded lumber stations I have ever seen. Like, no contest. It, considering all the other maps I've been on, this is definitely one of the muckiest, muddiest, most flooded lumber stations I have ever seen across the... Like, across, you know, the career of playing... the Career mode of playing this game. Try to kind of swing the truck in so it's got room to turn around. Honestly, we could probably just load it up sideways like this. All right, let's see. Short logs, load it up, and short log trailer. And, wow, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That I was not expecting, actually. What? I didn't know they were that persnickety about, like, even the short log trailer. That's kind of like, well, damn, dude. 
like to me anyway like you have to have the truck and the trailer exactly perfectly lined up okay that's that's kind of crazy oh my god are you serious are you freaking serious man I feel like I have a solution I have somewhat of a solution anyway that should work oh nope here we go yes all right we are good to go six points all right let's go now the route we're gonna take is the one that we mapped out with the repair truck and to be honest I'm not sure how this truck is gonna take to that but we're gonna get it over to the water and then the water is going to be like a whole new task entirely. And we're going to have to still be super careful to not get swept away by the current. Because the current will not only sweep this truck away, but it will also tip the trailer over. And there goes half of our load. So, and that kind of, that literally, like, doubles or triples the amount of, uh, the amount of time it would take to to get all the lumber to the objective so that is definitely not a scenario that we want to find ourselves in with a loaded lo loaded down uh, lumber rig come on crawl it out of there crawl it out of there now that trailer is a little bit more twisted up than I would expect it to be but no big deal little dip at the front oh my god yeah, it's like, it's weird too, because that trailer, like, you can see, god, you can even see the leaf springs moving. I mean, it's down to those minute little details, man, but, like, but when you get down to it, it, it really makes this game shine. It really, really does. I need to check the map real quick to see what our course of action should be. Uh, seems like it should be just follow this all the way through the field, all the way over to this road, and then... Follow, oh geez, oh man, see the problem is, I've slightly forgotten what I did over there, but you know what, it's okay, it's okay, and I am not worried about it, because we're going to get the truck over there, and we're going to figure it out, and we're going to kind of test the waters, um, we're also going to of course use our, you know, the depth markers on the map, uh, kind of religiously, just because they're there, and I feel like if they're there, we should really, 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 really take advantage of them. And I feel like this is going to be, like, this map to finish one objective will take probably just as long as finishing two objectives on a normal map. Just because this map has so much guesswork involved uh, with the water sections. They're just so treacherous and so unpredictable if you've never been on this map before that, dude, I, I'm like, I'm just really trying to allow for a lot of extra time on this map. Is this where we went straight? Yeah, that don't turn left. This is where we went straight. Got it. All right, find your way through here. Find your way through here, bro. God, I think second may be what like the max it's willing to do. Uh, off-road up muddy hills with a trailer. I mean, most of that's going to be in first. I mean, seriously, most of that's going to be in first. It's not going to get out of first very much. This truck, as we know from previous experience on maps like downhill, is not fast and not the best climber. And it's definitely not a mountain goat like some of the other 6x6s with the bigger, fatter tires. But at, at the end of the day... It's still a really, it's still a, like a good, reliable, solid truck platform. And that's kind of why I continue to use it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Luckily, guess what we're nearby? 8x8. Eight eight. So, I'll tell you what. The next episode, we will start out with pulling that truck... With the 8x8, we're just going to pull it all the way over to the water. And then, the, the episode, well, we're going to pull it all the way over to the water and then attempt to cross that entire thing in one shot. No lumber spills at all. And uh, if we can do that, it'll be pretty freaking legit because then we can go back. 
with like a single carriage and should be able to just bust that final one out in, in no time at all. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Spin Tires Mud Runner, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.